<laughs> well now, I'm sure you're saying, what the heck? <laughs> well, I've technically sold the car, but I'm doing a little bit of work on it for the guy before he uh, picks it up. Kind of going through a few things. We are going to add like some e-brakes. I'm going to do some very basic wiring, but we're going to run the wires in there. I'm going to wire the headlight switch and the blinkers and stuff, like get those slung front to back. Not fully finishing it because it's still a project for this feller, but I do want to run the wires, label it for him because I think wiring scares lots of folks. So we'll run it. We won't do the best job of mounting everything. We'll probably zip tie it and then let him fasten it to the chassis and stuff, but make it easy that it runs front to back. We're going to fix this wheel cylinder. And then, like I say, we're going to add some e-brakes, kind of get it a little bit closer to up here. We have to inspect all of our stuff before we can put it on the road. So I want to nail a couple of the big things for him. And then uh, he's golden. Good to go. Uh, what else is there to say? It's probably it. Uh, we had that leaky wheel cylinder, so we still got to deal with that. So we're going to do that right away. And then we'll start slinging some emergency brake cables and then we'll figure some stuff out. I know I had bought like this fancy low car e-brake handle. So we're going to go with this thing. It looks pretty straightforward. It should look nice. It's small. It's hot roddy like. It'll fit the bill. So we're going to mount that in there. And uh, I think that's, yeah, it's kind of that simple. We'll just do a few little things. Just make it a little easier that it's more uh, just about ready to get go to inspection, if that makes sense. But anyways.
We got the e-brake cables in there. I got two different length cables. My idea, or my goal, is I want one cable to run around the backside. And so they kind of, I usually do this, run a shorter one on one side, longer one on the other, so I can kind of have them both side by side. I can make a bracket that will tug to the handle. So I just went around digging in the shed. I just have this bucket and it's just got tons of random cables. Sometimes I wreck a car or something and it's got good cables on it still, so I keep them. Anyways, we got, we managed to find what I needed out of there. So we got that on here. Now I'm gonna make a tab, a little tang that both of these can stab into. And then I kind of test fit the other one. I'm thinking somewhere in this vicinity, we gotta go past uh, this mount. But I mean, I think we'll chop a hole, kind of try to get that thing sitting. Hopefully the e-brake part hangs under this one by one enough that we can kind of nail it with this. If we have to, like we'll just extend these, that's not a big deal, uh, to the cable and back. If we can do it with some adjusters, that would be the most ideal way to do it. Uh, yeah, so I guess next step, we're gonna go upstairs, place out where that's gotta go. I am thinking it wants to sit. Yeah, it's gonna be like here, cause you can just tell the seat's there. So I am gonna, well, I can see the weld up top. So I'm just gonna drill. We'll kind of get that thing positioned right. And then we'll come back down here. I'll make this tab super quick as well. So both these cables can kind of hang together at the back of the frame. And then we can kind of tie this stuff out of the way.
All right, we got the e-brake in. We'll let them kind of screw this down or figure out how this goes. But you give her a yank, it does what it's supposed to do. Underneath, we ended up making our mount. Uh, we did the adjuster so it can kind of equalize. They're a little, they're a little tight, but they do work. Like they're even side to side, so that's a huge win. Uh, we piggybacked it up onto the cable there, so I don't know. That's done. We're gonna clean up the cables a little bit back here yet, but that's okay. Uh, I think we got everything down here. So next step is we are just gonna run the wiring and label it to the front and to the back. So the plan with that is I am just gonna run the wire. I'm gonna zip tie it to the frame rail and I will let the new feller decide how he wants to clamp it or do whatever he wants. But it's gonna run up to the front here and then uh, you can wire them into the lights and the signals, which I gotta go find here. And then uh, I'll just label it all the ends and then he can terminate everything however he wants, run the wiring however he wants. But my plan is just to put the headlight switch in and because this is the headlight power. So we'll do that. We'll put a dimmer switch in here somewhere. And then, uh, like I say, run headlight to taillight. So then back here, we'll just have some wires dangling and it'll be like left signal, right signal, uh, running lights kind of thing. So uber simple like that. I think that is going to conclude where we're at, but uh, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll do a little more. We're not sure yet. We'll kind of see what happens here. All right, we got our basic wiring uh, done. We just ran cords front to rear. Show you that in a second. Um, I went to our Canadian Tire, got us a headlight switch, which is nice because it says tail light dash 
headlight park. So your headlight wire will run to your dimmer switch to which then runs off to my the wires I ran over to the headlight. I don't know if they if it's good to put on the floor or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount it up under the dash here that a feather can bang on it. Unfortunately, I think my switch is no good. Doesn't seem like it's clicking. But either way, we'll be able to test it. And if and we gave it extra cable. So if he doesn't like where this is, he can move it to the floor. I just felt it was a little tight on the floor. So we're going to go there. This is wired. The extra wire hanging off of here is for our dash lights. So we'll be able to uh, stick this uh, true at uh, this hole. Should be able to. There we go. Should turn them off. There we go. do our thing here and uh, essentially the lights are all done I think for the little bit of time it's gonna take I am actually just going to wire the front and the back I'll just do everything the only thing we haven't done is clean up the wiring after the fact but Well now, we actually did a lot more than I thought I was going to do. <laughs> uh, this thing's happened. I felt, because wiring always scares everybody, I, would, uh, I just ran the wiring for the guy. I have not cleaned it up or done anything nice with it, but at least he knows the fella is going to know where everything goes. So we wired into the back. We've kind of just zip tied it. I'm going to get him to do that, uh, like fasten it properly or do something, somehow fasten it uh, to the chassis. Either way, it goes up to the lights. I found some kind of socket that works with the lights. So we have our running lights in the back. Signals work, our brake lights work. So we have that. There's an extra wire in the middle so we can run his uh, license plate or his tag light wherever he decides to put it. There's a power there for that. It looks like a mess, but I'm gonna let him loom it or do whatever he wants to do with that. So that's not my, my, my spiel. Then we ran the wiring out the front. So you can just see, I continued my trend of zip tying everything up there. I left the wires a little long. I ran it under. I don't know which way this fella would wanna run it. So I left it like that for now. We still have our fan wiring. I got a fan, but it was the wrong one. So I've just ordered another one. I'm waiting for that to come. I think I'm gonna order him a wiper too. I'm not gonna put it in, but I'll order it for him. So at least he has the, the wiper to work with the system. And uh, like the, there's a wire in there already for it. So that's fine. Um, what do we do? So like I say, we ran the, the cords like our, our wiring here. So this is all for the taillight headlight wiring. Cool little something. I don't remember where I got that, where I found it. I don't know if somebody commented or I just seen it somewhere else. On semi trucks, they have uh, where their air couplers are. There are these things. And they make a great grommet for the firewall. I guess they kind of always stay kind of soft. I think it's like an inch, inch and a quarter hole you got to do. This will pop in, it's mint. You can always cut it, get it a little bit smaller if you need, but that's like cheap as heck and you get a lot of them. <laughs> Anyways, that is in. What else did we do? We got our light switches before, our dimmer switches here, except that thing I think is broken or not very good. I don't have another one, so it's kind of, he'll have to kind of do his thing. We ended up just, so he has, because until he finds some senders for any of those gauges, I just quickly threw a triple under the dash, so at least he can see some of the vitals there. And they light up with there, yada yada, all that stuff works. Um, the last thing we're going to do, but while well, I'm like say, I'm waiting on the electric fan anyways, uh, we did order, I asked him, well actually, this mechanical speedo is like bunk. I cannot get it to work. So... 
Uh, what we've opted to do is this inside insert on a shoebox is uh, just over two inches. So I'm going to make a filler and we're going to put uh, a GPS speedo inside of there. So that's the plan. And you can hide the sanding unit somewhere under here. Should be golden, 100%. Have a good speedo, gauges, signals, lights, brakes. Got emergency brakes now. Uh, somewhere under here, so this will be my power for it. This is, well, still horn. We haven't done that yet. Uh, we got like, it's kind of a mess under here, but I kind of left this long in case he doesn't like that there, that he can mount it on the floor. What else we got? I don't know. There just needs to be some cleanup under there. But overall, we are golden. Um, just got those couple things left, and then uh, I think we ship it off and goes to its new home. So, as always, I want to uh, thank you folks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.